was Jan Brehm, introduced himself. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest of honor and speaker is not new to us. He is in fact very much involved and supportive in all our activities. He is a friend, a brother, a mentor, and a consistent supporter. He was also our guest speaker and best of honor and speaker last year. during the pandemic. And speaking of heroes, isn't it timely and fitting that today we honor our national heroes, both major and minor heroes, on the occasion of the 124th Independence Day today, June 12, 2022. Even as we also honor others today, so ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure and distinct privilege to welcome and introduce to every world father, dedicated civilian, a servant, and an advocate of industrial and public President who will be taking his oath by 30th of uh, June 2022 at the Museum of the Philippines. And uh, so, ayun, ay nasa, nasa Aberdeen Court sila to have that uh, very special victory party to all their supporters. And I just uh, came there, I leave the area. And uh, <laughs> nagkakabul po ako kanina. I just really drive very fast. Anyway, uh, once again, a pleasant good afternoon to this pandemic North Worthy Review 2022. And before I'll have to start to give my humble message, I would like first to, of course, greet the following. The uh, President of Guardian, Pasay City, Sir Arman Castillo, sir. Pilipi Aniwanas, Punong Barangay, Barangay Bagong Bayan, Pilipia Rizal, sir. Punong Barangay, Santa Rosa Cainta de Salsa. Representative MF Tony Caldiano. Okay, uh, Police Colonel Reyes. Okay, Lucina City, sir. Yes, coming directly from Korea, he is an engineer uh, well connected with the uh, Samsung company. All project of Samsung globally he is the top management uh, engineer, which he is so delighted traveling in the Philippines 
to have some talk table meeting with us. And of course, um, he's so delighted to meet Sir Jovin, the organizer of this, and to all of you guys. No other than Engineer In Jong Song from Korea. Likewise, uh, to our uh, family friend, uh, a businesswoman, Miss Rolet Lacton. To, of course, uh, Miss uh, Ate Aida Seed, who is over there. Ate Aida Seed, yan po siya. Uh, talagang nakakasal na po siya na nagkagawa ng ganitong activities. Uh, talagang uh, napakadami na po nilang natulungan. At sa kanilang mga organisasyon ay nare-recognize po ang mga gumapulan ang dipatigabang leaders of our community and society na katulad ng mga nandito. It's important, guys, to introduce you some. It's important, guys, na makilala ko kayo. Being silent is hindi ka nakikilala ng community, kaya minsan in politics, natatalo po tayo. It's really a patient sacrifice when you do some activities. It's important for each and every one of us, the citizenry, especially po, binabati ko ang lahat po ng guardian sa buong Pilipinas. At sumusuporta din, alam ko, ang mga guardian sa ating mahal na pangulo, ang next president, 17th president of our country. Naiintindihan ko na may mga guardians na nandun sa victory party. <laughs> you know guys, uh, nandun po sila. And they really support uh, BBM and all uh, uh, unity to give their uh, wishes for the victory party of that occasion. At tayo naman is, uh, I can see all your beautiful faces and smart skies you know, na nag-enjoy po tayo. With a good governance of course of brother. Jovin, the founder. Okay, uh, of course, to uh, may go on the main core of my short message. Um, to all our distinguished guests, you know, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is again my distinct honor and privilege to speak before you on the occasion of the celebration of our 124th Independence Day as a sovereign nation conceived in liberty and freedom with a vibrant democracy. As such, let us recall all the history. As our forefather gallantly fought our colonizer, the Spaniards, an American, and invaders, the Japanese, in those lonely and sad centuries and decades of our subjugated past. But Filipinos, we are, and Filipinos, we shall always be with the distinct culture and character of survival. Resiliency, courage, bravery, compassion, hospitality, sense of humor, and positivism. Put together, it is this is strong Filipino spirit which enable us to survive the world most vicious and violent invaders. The pandemic even as we struggle hard and momentarily divided during last few months. But now that the smoking commons of politics have rested, we now begin to settle down and brace ourselves for yet 
another global crisis. The twin head of inflation and recession that even the most powerful nation in the world is and in the West are sudden and worried about. As the point that has come to realization that the call for unity by our incoming President Ferdinand Edran Marcos Jr. does not only serve as triumphant call to us Filipino but a reverse virates throughout the world in order to address the global financial and economic as the common adage says united we started divided the fall such as such is the underlying essence of that call by our incoming president Bongbong Marcos as we transition from a pandemic devastation exit of President Rodrigo Roa Duterte Tatay Digo but as we have observed the transition is fast gaining momentum since there is a lot of cooperation collaboration coordination and understanding between the incoming and outgoing administration such that in due course we shall be transformed into an economic and financial miracle in the world as we become economically independent why because the great global financial recipe will enemy from the Philippines since the leader of the group news is in our midst and is to come forward. It is not worthy to realize the strange coincidence that since 1987, the transition from the outgoing to the incoming administration fails within Independence Month. This Independence Day celebration today will forever be remembered as it will be written in the annals of our history that the start of the great transition and transformation of our economic independence coincidentally took place on June 12, 2022. Also, the International Father's Day celebration and it is quite a coincidence also that our president in transition is a father. Finally, my friends and co-workers for a brighter tomorrow for our children and our children's children, let us bear in mind that in order to achieve our mandate as public and civilian leaders, let us set aside our political colors, okay? And our regeneration and work as a formidable team with great moral values, probable and integrity, and also Credibility for the greater good of our people, our families, and communities, even in our own little way. And let us be frontliner again for good governance. And ladies and gentlemen, as we are here gathered all today, I'm so grateful and thankful for our unity, oneness, of course, led by our guardians, leader.
to our organizer, Brother Juven. I also congratulate all the benevolent and defatigable leaders who are cordially invited on this very special occasion, the pandemic North Worthy Tribune 2022. 2022 Araw na Kalayaan and Free Observance of Father's Day Worldwide this June 12, 22 here in Bibio Park Hotel, Manila. And once again, in behalf of my family, I would like to congratulate you all for a wonderful and commendable performance. Mabuhay ang uh, group achievers. Mabuhay ang mga napiling mga napakapalag na naimbitahan na, na mga speakers. Mabuhay si Brother Juven. Mabuhay si BBM. Mabuhay po tayo lahat. Thank you and good afternoon. God bless us all. Okay, and we see, uh, thank you for Colonel Larry Pedroche. It was late 90s, German 98, 98 onwards. Nakasama na po namin si uh, uh, Colonel Larry Pedroche in some, in most of our events and normal undertakings. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching.